Hi, I'm Sam. I lead quantum applications development at SciQuantum, and I'm excited to talk to you about Construct. Construct is a unified platform for prototyping, instantiating, and benchmarking fault-tolerant quantum algorithms. And we're excited about it because it's massively expedited the rate at which we can develop new quantum algorithms for fault-tolerant hardware. It has a few components. Circuit Designer is used to prototype algorithms. So if we click into Circuit Designer, you get a view that looks something like this. This allows us to prototype and inspect quantum algorithms at a large scale. We can telescope in and out, look at constituent subroutines, inspect them, and scrutinize how the algorithm's constructed. Once we've prototyped an algorithm in Circuit Designer, we can move on to instantiating it in code. For us, that's handled in a, in a quantum development environment, or QDE, which we can click into, with a variety of different backends. Here, we're going to take a look at an instantiation of an algorithm in VS Code. Once we open up an algorithm in the QDE, it looks something like this. It's a set of notebooks in a familiar environment. It's written in Workbench, which is a hosted language in Python. So in principle, instantiating algorithms is very quick, very efficient, very familiar. We can see here algorithms that we've prototyped in Circuit Designer, now visualized inside the QDE. And we can use that as a template to start to write algorithms. Here's an example of a circuit that has come out of this algorithm instantiation process. And you can see that it's instantiated up here using this code snippet with only a handful of lines. And given that short instantiation, we've populated quite a complex fault-tolerant circuit. And a lot of the low-level compilation details are handled for you. So automatic uncomputation, automatic management of ancillas, automatic nesting of subroutines, et cetera, et cetera. Once we have an algorithm instantiated, we can start to benchmark it. That's handled by a tool called Resource Analyzer, which looks something like this. If I open up the analyzer for the algorithm that we just looked at, you initially are greeted with a screen that looks like this. And you'll see a long list of the computational resources that the algorithm needs to run on fault-tolerant hardware. But not only is it the case that you can look at how much the algorithm costs as a whole, you can telescope in and understand how that algorithm is spending its resources across its constituent subroutines. And that's precisely the information you need to start to scrutinize and optimize these algorithms over time. Those are the features of Construct. In the following videos, we'll take a deeper dive on each of its constituent components.